Well, we're tracking that severe winter weather moving in. It's just a moment. Elena Noakes is going to give us a look at how to prepare your home for the colder temps. But first, we're going to send it over to Chief Meteorologist Rachel Penton and the First Alert Storm Center. Rachel, just how cold is it supposed to get? Well, it's going to be very cold here. The coldest temperatures we've seen in quite some time, and you can actually see that Arctic air already. It's made its way into Billings, Montana, where it's currently 18 degrees below zero. Rapid City, eight below, and uh, that cold air is going to be spilling all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So by next week, we're looking at our uh, two coldest mornings arriving next Tuesday and Wednesday. So our front actually arrives Sunday, but it'll take a couple of days for that coldest Arctic air to really settle in. So Tuesday, we're expecting teens across the local area with wind chills in the single digits. Wednesday, we should be around 11 degrees, which would be the coldest we've been uh, since we had the ice storm in February 2021. And of course, with these cold temperatures, uh, there always is that potential for some wintry precip, and there is a little potential on the board. So I'll talk about that in the full forecast. In the meantime, though, clear skies here close, across the local area. Radar estimates here showing less than a half inch of rainfall. We only had five hundredths here at the station and 600 out of the airport. So most of us had some pretty low amounts, but skies have cleared now uh, behind this, the latest frontal system. And of course, that front has pushed through now. We've also seen those strong winds today, uh, gusting in that 40 to 45 mile per hour range uh, across the area. 45 is that peak wind gust at AEX, and that's due to those gradient winds here across the local area. This hour, we're now down to 42 in Alexandria, 42 in Natchitoches, 46 out in Leesville, and 48 over in Bunky. So our winds will die down as we head into the evening hours. That wind advisory uh, really just expired. So we're still looking at some gusts up to around 25 miles per hour. So over the next couple of hours, but by tomorrow morning, they'll be light. And with temperatures in the upper 20s, we're looking at a light freeze with frost likely across Sen Law. Thank you, Rachel. Well, new tonight, Governor Jeff Landry has issued a state of emergency ahead of the severe winter weather conditions. Landry's office is urging people to prepare. As we know, the cold temperatures could come with a risk of increasing homes to and communities. Elena Noakes joins me now with a breakdown of how utility providers are preparing for the freeze. Elena? Yeah, Johnny, obviously we're not anticipating anything nearly as cold as the ice storm of 2021, but this is our first hard freeze of winter this year, so we're making sure that you're prepared for that. City utility providers around Sinlaw are preparing, and they're asking customers to winterize their homes. You may recall the December 2022 freeze here in Alexandria. Busted pipes across the city led to as many as 600 water leaks, many of them unreported, and low water pressure for several days. The city had to ask customers to conserve water until the supply could be restored. So prepare your pipes through the winter weather advisory period. Make sure to leave water dripping from faucets throughout the home. For those pipes in your attic or basement, it may be best to also wrap them with rags, towels, or styrofoam to insulate them. It's best to pay for insulation supplies to prevent piping problems than to foot a costly bill to make repairs after those pipes burst. And speaking of insulation, it's best to do the same thing for your home with the heater running. Fill in cracks around window seals and doorways. You can also set your thermostat to a lower temperature. The recommended setting in the winter is 68 degrees, but of course that's up to you. Those are just a few tips to keep your energy bill down. Now when it comes to power outages in the forecast, it's important to be aware of your energy usage. More people are using more electricity in the colder weather, so conserve energy where you can. Clico Power also warns ice could call is an issue for their customers. We love our trees, but they are uh, somewhat, they're sometimes a hazard to our system, but that's why we trim trees year round. But that is always gonna probably be our biggest um, concern whenever there's a per chance of ice and snow, it being on the trees. And that's usually what's gonna cause most of the outages. Hopefully ice is not a big factor this time around, but if you do experience an outage, you can always call Coleco's customer service or report it online. Coleco says they will have crews standing by prepared to respond. And we haven't heard from any city governments or agencies about issues on the front end of this system. We'll be sure to keep you updated as the winter weather moves through. Johnny? Thank you, Elena. Well, we do have some updates regarding closures from the weather that people need to know about. So far, the only campus closure reported is for all Northwestern State University campuses. The school will be closed Tuesday and Wednesday. For our local school boards, there have not been any closures or delays announced yet. All school boards appear to be waiting until Monday to determine if they will close due to the weather.